The Attorney General Eric Holder appearing before the Congress to answer lots of questions over the failed sting operation Fast and Furious. Of course, the program was supposed to track guns from the United States to Mexico. It didn't work out very well. Investigators say the feds lost track of hundreds of weapons and that two of them turned up at the scene of the murder of a U.S. Border Patrol agent named Brian Terry. The chairman of the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee, Republican Congressman Darrell Issa, has threatened to hold the Attorney General Eric Holder in contempt of Congress. Congressman Issa and other Republicans accused the Justice Department of refusing to comply with subpoenas and engaging in a cover-up. That is a serious charge, and today the Attorney General rejected the accusations. The magic word here, cover-up. And I want to make clear that there's no attempt at any kind of cover-up. We have shared um, huge amounts of information. We will continue to share huge amounts of uh, information. Um, there is a misperception, as I think was indicated in the Deputy Attorney General's letter, uh, that maybe I can clear up now, that you know we're not going to be hiding behind any kind of privileges or anything to uh, not provide this committee with information that it wants. Meanwhile, the family of the murdered U.S. Border Patrol agent is set to sue the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms for $25 million for his wrongful death. Let's get to our senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. He's the host of Freedom Watch over in the Fox Business Network and uh, does a lot of stuff around here. I want to start with uh, what's going on with Attorney General Holder today. You, holding him in contempt of Congress and making the... This is very serious. Well, it is serious. The, the Congress can't do this alone, and Congressman Issa can't do it alone. But if the Attorney General and the people that work for him are refusing to comply with a lawfully issued subpoena, Congress can go to a federal district court judge in Washington, D.C., and ask that judge to hold the Attorney General in contempt of Congress. If that happens, that is a dramatic uh, event which could result in his incarceration. It has never happened, but people who co refuse to comply with subpoenas can be incarcerated until they decide to comply. Look, the best way for Attorney General Holder to address this is not to stonewall the Congress. If he thinks there are documents in there to which the Congress is not entitled, he knows that he can move before another federal judge and have that judge look at the documents and decide whether or not Congress is entitled to them. But irritating Congressman Issa in a case like this, where the Republicans have a majority, where the an innocent person dead, arguably, as a result of all this, is not likely to result in a happy ending for the Attorney General. Oh, I can't imagine that it would. Now to the other matter, and that is a $25 million lawsuit. Can that happen? I don't think so. Yeah, I didn't think the, the federal government has clothed itself with immunity, which means that whenever it has to exercise discretion, whenever it has to make a judgment about how to run the government, and it would say that this Fast and Furious thing, as horrible as it is, looking at it in reverse, was a matter of judgment. The courts have said that those statutes prevent the, the federal government from being sued. There may be other intermediaries who could be sued, but not the Justice Department and not the federal government. All right. A lot to go here. It's, it's, yes. I, I mean, I watched in Megan's Hour the last hour. Granted, they're still in the middle of an investigation, but that nobody's been fired. Seems like uh, almost a tactical mistake. There are tens of thousands of documents that haven't been coughed up yet, and they were demanded a long time ago. And if someone did that to Eric Holder, he'd send the FBI to go get those documents. See?